Good morning, everyone. It's another fine day in coastal British Columbia. But I got a question for you. Do you have any family member that is medically trained and wants to go abroad? Are you prepared to put your biases aside regarding your native country? And to what extent would you go to help a family member to get to Canada or another Western country? So we've been doing this research for a friend and here's what it is for Canada. And I imagine that for many countries, it's gonna be very similar. And that is to get your English up to speed. <laughs> You're gonna to have to help that family member qualify. In other words, they're gonna to have to write a qualification exam to be able to come to many Western countries. Um, now, I just said English, but if you're going to Germany, you're going to Germany. <laughs> Same thing, you're going to probably have to do a proficiency test uh, before you can work there or before you can school there. Now, what I'm talking about here as far as coming to Canada, if you've got medical experience already, is under a student visa. Regardless of your le level of education, you're going to have to qualify at the Canadian level. So what's been happening a fair amount here as an example is nurses that are qualified in the Philippines, uh, getting their English upgraded, and then coming to Canada under a student visa and becoming care aides. Now, that's, that will get you a seat in that classroom much, much easier than if you're just, say, a, a mechanical engineer <laughs> and you decide to come here on a medical um, student visa, probably you might lose that seat. Um, but Canada is calling for a lot of people to come here right now, under the medical side especially. And uh, what happens is your spouse and children are encouraged to come with. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure that they would approve you if they didn't come. Um, I know that there's a lot of talk about uh, frustration over exporting money. And I think they, Canada would rather pay it forward and have the child, uh, if it's school age, to get a bit of a Western education. And, uh, and then the spouse has the opportunity to have a working visa at the same time so that you can help support while the family member is going through. But what are you prepared to do as a Westerner to help a family member that may be qualified to go to a Western country and get qualified? Are you prepared to put your biases aside regarding your native country and let them have that choice of the freedom uh, that comes with having a stamp, literally just a stamp from a Western country and show that you have exited as well? Makes a lot of difference on a Filipino's ability to travel to different countries and to show that they will go home. So a couple of things that you have to have if you want to come to Canada, I'm gonna run it down for you here. If you're gonna come on a program, you're pre-qualified, you're gonna to have to pay the uh, college or university level fees, whatever they might be. Uh, in Canada right now for the nursing, pro or sorry, for the carried program, that's about $13,000, roughly. And on top of that, you have to put a bond down to show that when you graduate, if you don't get a job right away, then you have means to, to look after yourself. So it is a hefty amount, $17,000 uh, Canadian. And then on top of all of that, you have to have funds in the Philippines. Uh, we've been encouraged to s tell our friends that, you know, this needs to be in the order of about 300,000 pesos. Again, you have means to buy your ticket, you have means to do all of those things that they are gonna to have to have spend money on. On top of all of that, it really, really helps if you've got some kind of lock that if you don't pass the course, you're not gonna simply go underground here, you're going to go back home. And so in many cases, the consultant uh, that we talked to said, you know, any type of land, anything that is solely in that person's name or in the family name, um, now, when I say family name, I mean the husband and wife and child, let's say, that are going to come to Canada. 
Okay, not your name, not a sister's name, can't be co-connected with a sister or a brother, can't be that way, okay? So you might have to do some temporary legal work. But the $64,000 question as a Westerner, are you prepared to help? That's the question. If they've got this desire, are you ready to help a family member get to a Western country? Questions, questions. <laughs> Later, Gators.